After a long day of work, I'm sure the last thing you want to do is to figure out where you're going to post. Is it Instagram, Twitter, and of course, not writing a LinkedIn post. Wouldn't it be nice if you could train AI to write and sound like you and automatically create posts for you every single day? Today in this video, I will show you how you can build a system that will help you to get more tractions, engage with your followers, and all of this will help you to build your personal brand. And for this, we will use AI. And this is exactly what we're going to do today. Just a quick disclaimer before we start. This video is fully made by my AI avatar. And if you want to know how to create your own digital tweet, please subscribe to my channel. I will be making a video about this fantastic AI tool. But now let's continue. So as our base for our AI system, we will use a tool called make.com. And make.com is a very popular tool to build different types of automations. And you can connect different systems together so they would operate one after another or at the same time. And here you can build various flows and have so many choices how you can use this tool. And today we'll show you how you can easily set up this AI automation. So you can register your free account here and just create a new scenario. This is a really incredible and easy to use tool that allows you to set up the whole AI automation without writing a single line of code. And as you can see, it's very easy to use. So we will start to build our automation by adding our first module. And we do this by pressing this big plus button. Our first module is called a trigger. So as you understand, it tells make.com what is going to start this automation. When the trigger triggers our system, then make will know what to do and which tools to use and when. In a visual way, you can describe how you want this automation to operate. My whole automation is built on writing social media posts regarding news articles about the industry I'm interested in. So I have a Google sheet and what we're going to do is to put our web link of a recent article about our industry or our niche in there. And then AI is going to go into work and write all our social media posts. So I will add a new module and add Google Sheets. And I need to choose the function watch new role. And here is my Google Sheet with the news articles in it. This is a new article that just came out today about Apple and that it brings ChatGPT to all of its iPhones. Great. So I have the article here and then I'm, I'm ready to turn this article into four social media posts. So now in make.com, we need to find and select our spreadsheet and choose the right sheet in this spreadsheet. And one more is that we need to set a limit and we will choose one because we want the automation to create one article at a time. So this looks good now. Now let's change the period. The default value in make is 15 minutes, but we want our post to be created just once and every day. And of course you can choose any of other values, but I will keep posting every day at 10 o'clock in the morning. And then we just need to press OK. OK, and just like that, we have our trigger set up. And now when we have it, the next step is to have AI to read the article. And for that, we're going to use a tool called Perplexity. So you need to register in Perplexity and here you can get a totally free account. And what we need to do is to get an API key. And we can do this by going to settings and then we have to press API menu. And now we just need to copy our API key. A quick disclaimer, you have to pay or add credits to get your API key. And you can add as less as five or $10 and it will last for a really long time. 
So let's go down and copy our API key. What we need to do next is to go back to makecom and create a new module. So you have to press on this big plus and then we're going to search for perplexity and the menu we will choose is called create a chat completion so now we have to create a new connection and add our api key then we will press save and now we have set up our connection so there are really different models that you could choose from and we will just use the default llama 3 and now it's time to give perplexity our instructions so we will start by adding a role which is always user and two other values that you can add here are tokens and temperature and tokens determine how long your message will be if you leave it blank then ai will determine the length and with temperature, you can give instructions to AI on how creative it should be or can be. For now, we will just leave everything blank and then we can change if we want to later. And now let's add our prompt. And you do this in the content menu. And we just will add our prompt and instruct uh, Perplexity to summarize this article and what we need to do is to select the news link one and in this way we give perplexity access to our spreadsheets and all the news articles in it and just press save and now let's run and see if we're happy with the results so now we can see that our test has run and we can take a closer look uh, onto our result and you can do it by pressing on each module so now we can see our input in the messages and we instructed make to summarize this article and the next we can check the output we go into choices and then messages and here is uh, here are our results and here is a great summary of our article perfect now we're done with our step one all right so now we have the base for our post and we can move to the next step and this is actual writing of the posts and in this example we will automate a facebook and instagram linkedin and x or former twitter post writing and this will be done by using a module called router so a router is a module that allows you to perform multiple actions at the same time and in my example as because i'm automating four different social media outlets then i need four routers so one for each media outlet and now I will use ChatGPT to write this post. So what I'm going to do is to press the button here and search for OpenAI. And then I'm gonna click on the OpenAI module and then I'm gonna select create completion. And if this is your first time connecting to OpenAI, you have to press add at the top and then put your API key and to find your API key you just go to platform.openai.com and when you log in you can see the last tab which is called API key simply click on that and then create a new key and copy this key go back to make and press add and input your key right over here and press save so from our model i'm gonna use chatgpt 400 because it's the most powerful model right now and it's actually much cheaper than chatgpt 4 and then when i'm selected the model under the messages i'm gonna give it my prompt and the role uh, as before is user and then for content you put in your prompt so i have prepared the prompts and i have left them for you in the comments so you can just copy paste and so i'm you i'm inputting the prompt act as a social media manager and generate a facebook post and so on so you can just go down to the comments and uh, just copy paste this prompt you don't have to write it from the beginning and this is where I actually enter the results or the outputs from the previous step. So remember in the previous step, 
that we went into perplexity and generated the summary of the article. And now I need to expand on choices and expand on messages and click content. This part is going to pre-fill with the results from the previous step. And I'm going to press just OK here. And now we have our Facebook post written. Now the next part, we're going to do the same for Instagram. And I'm just continuing this whole process. And also for Instagram, I have prepared a prompt for you. So just go to the description and copy paste the prompt. So it's something like, as a digital marketing specialist, create an Instagram post about the following artificial intelligence article and so on. Once I click here, I can see that all the outputs from the previous step, we're going to go to perplexity again and expand on choices, messages and click content. Okay. So just like that, we finished our Instagram post and in the, at the bottom, you need to put a number of tokens and I'm going to keep 2000 as the maximum. Okay, now that we have our Instagram set up, let's do the same for X or formerly Twitter. So now we're just repeating the whole process for Twitter. And so here I've set up the OpenAI module just as we have done previously. And I put my prompt. Again, you can just copy paste it from the description and under uh, the choices and message and then under content um, I'll just populate the summary of the article I just made and I'm going to press OK here at the bottom and lastly I'm going to set up um, the same automation for my LinkedIn and for this one we'll do the same process so just uh, continue um, with the same copy the prompt that I left in the description and uh, do the same process for your LinkedIn. All right. So also for our Instagram, you know how Instagram works. We need a picture, so we need to generate it. And of course we will do it with the help of AI. So what we can do here is to add a new module and choose open AI and then select generate an image from the list. And the model that you need to choose is DALI 3. And DALI 3 is just much more capable than DALI 2. So let's take that. And now let's add the prompt. And uh, all right, I have put in my prompt for this image and I'm going to press OK. And as usually, you can go to the comments and just copy paste the prompt I added. Perfect. So now we have set up the system and we can save our work and run it to see that everything works and make sure that we're happy with the results. And if we're satisfied, then we will just need to connect all our social media outlets and just lay back and relax. All right, our testing has finished. So let's take a look at the results here. So let's start with Facebook. Let's press here and see how our results look under outputs. So now you have to open the content and then text. Now let's see what the AI has written for our Facebook post. So if you are not totally satisfied with the results, you can continue working with your prompts and adjust it as needed. All right, this looks fine to me. Now let's move on and check how Instagram looks like. We're going to do the same process. So you just go to outlets and then press choices and then open the message and content. Okay, this also looks good. So now we need to take a look at DALI and how the image was generated. So we can find it under outputs and there is a website link to the picture. So we just copy paste it into your browser so we can open it. And here is my picture. Of course, I can, as with the other results, keep on playing with my prompt. And if I want the picture to look differently or some uh, parts of it uh, and so on. What you would do during this step is to fix your prompt until you get the output to be exactly what you need it to be. And now let's take a look at X or former Twitter. Let's open this one as well. All looks fine. And now let's take a look at the LinkedIn as well. 
Uh, and we just continue the same process. All right, this also looks good. So once you're happy with those prompts, what you would do is to add another module. And this is where you actually start connecting it to your social media accounts. So now we need to connect the actual Facebook to our Facebook post generation flow. You can choose if you want to connect your personal Facebook page or your business account. And I will connect my business account in this example. Now let's go ahead and press Facebook page and then create a post. Facebook is going to pop up the authorization and once I have authorized my Facebook connection, then I'm ready to go. Now I will select the page I want to post to and it's time to add what needs to be posted. And as you have guessed, this is when we will use the results that AI has generated. So we will select that under the content and then press OK. Perfect. In this way, I have automated my Facebook to create posts every single day at 10 a.m. based on the news articles from the Google Sheet. Now I will connect my Instagram as well. So let's find the Instagram and I will choose Instagram for business and then I will press create a photo post. And I have already made a connection, so I just need to choose the right account. Now we need to start with the picture. So let's find the web link from the previous step by expanding the data from OpenAI. And we also need to add the text related to this picture. So we find it under choices and then message and then content. Perfect. Let's save this and we can go ahead. Now we will just continue to do the same for our X or Twitter. So you search for X and then press create a post. And now you need to do what you need to do is to connect your X account. And finally, we will connect in the same way our LinkedIn. And here is where you have chosen LinkedIn account and then select create user text posts. Perfect. From here, connect to your LinkedIn account and just press save. Fantastic. Now we have connected all our social media outlets. And so we have just the one last thing to do is to turn on this automation so everything would run. So now we have to connect or all our social media AI so it would run every day. The main thing is that you have enough of news articles because the way we have set up is that uh, every day at 10 o'clock our automation will go and check our spreadsheet and the automation will be triggered by the news links uh, that are in the spreadsheet. So, and perplexity will go and read it and summarize this. So make sure you really have enough of articles here and don't forget to add new ones when you run out of them. So your automation would be able to work. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really find this as useful and fascinating as I do. And it's just fantastic what you can do with AI and automation. And for example, here you invest just 20 minutes of your time and you can have all your social posts, social media posts automated for you. And um, you can use it uh, for your uh, brand management or for your business management and in so many ways. Please, if you liked and enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm posting a lot of videos about AI tools and automations and um, see you in the next one.